hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to see the new features of flow designer in washington dc release of service now so let's begin the video now the workflows are going to open in the same user interface as of flow designer so if you click on all navigation menu and here if you type workflow then you're going to see the option of workflow studio if you click on this it will redirect you to this page and here you will see the list of workflows in the processes tab that is activated right now okay so this is the addition of workflows under the processes tab and if you go to flow designer so if we type here flow designer and click on this it will also take you to the same page but the flows tab will be activated and you will see all the flows listed here and now here you can see on the top we have three new tabs home page operations and integrations home page will list all the processes flows subflows actions and decision tables in the operations tab you're going to see the operations of processes and flows what is the state of that particular process or the workflows okay as you can see these are in in progress and in the flows you're going to see the state of flows waiting in progress error okay and here you're going to see the reports also that most executed flows this month flows execution by state this month and in the same way you can see the reports on processes also so if we scroll down you're going to see the reports here if the data is available and in the integration tab you're going to see all the connections that are available in your instances okay so these are the connections that are available and you can search your connections from here next up is that you can swap the columns so if you want the status column to be here and swap this application column with the status column so you when you hover over the column you're going to see on the left side reorder just you have to drag and drop this column you have to hold it and drop it when you see the left border okay and you will see that our status column has been swept with the application column okay and now you're going to see that uh, where is the search box available we cannot see the search box available here but if you hover over the column you are going to see the three dots click on this you're going to see it says filter click on this and now you can filter the name of the flows according to the conditions like you can provide the name of the flow and you can apply the filter it will contains different operators like contains is not a star switch and switch okay empty not empty similarly it will be for processes also now you must be thinking what is decision tables for example suppose your query contains or your logic contains if and else nested if and else so they are so nested that it becomes difficult to you take decision or the logic becomes very lengthy so decision tables can help you in that case you can manage the complex queries with the help of tableau format using the decision tables okay and if you click on here you're going to see the list of decision tables and if we go inside this you're going to see it's a tabular format decision making and you can take the decision on the basis of that conditions and on the right side you can see pick up where you left off means if you're working on a new flow and if you're updating the flows it will come up here and you can also see the latest updates available here and you can directly jump to the flows and start working on that now let's create a new flow click on new button and select flow you're going to see the user interface like this click on show additional properties and if you scroll down you're going to see flow priority default this is the new field that has been added and it will be very helpful in the execution of the flow by default the flow priority will be medium but you can set it to low and high 
the flows with the high priority is going to execute first then the flows with the lower priority is going to execute okay now you must be thinking what will happen if two flows have the same priority then the execution of the flows will depend upon the creation of it in the order they have been created the system is going to execute the flows in that order if the flow priority are same okay so this is the new addition of field on the flow property let's create a new flow test and click on build flow once you click on build flow you're going to see the user interface like this and on the top you're going to see these buttons these are undo and redo buttons that are going to be very helpful if by mistakenly have deleted any actions or flow logic then you can definitely redo it or undo it with the help of these buttons so if we click here and if we add any actions like create record and by mistakenly we have deleted it delete we can click on undo button and we can get it back okay and if we don't want it we want to delete it we can redo it it will go away okay so this is also additional of new feature undo and redo button next feature is that we can make the flow read only so if you see here on the top right corner click on more actions menu you will see the option of make flow read only so once you make the flow read only it will not be editable so let's make this flow read only we click on this now the flow is read only we cannot add anything else on this to edit this flow you have to click on edit flow okay now you can see we can edit the flow so this is the addition of make flow read only now there is an addition of a new action that is called fire event we can directly fire an event with the help of flow designer now click on action and here you're going to search fire event okay so this is the action click here and these are the properties available event register the event that you have registered for which record you have to fire it that select the table select the parameter one parameter two and this will fire the event and you can take actions according to that so this is the addition of new action that is called fire event there is an addition of toggling of details and annotation in flow diagramming view this is the flow change normal authorize and if you open this flow in a flow diagramming view let's open this flow you're going to see the details and annotation available these are the details and the highlighted ones are annotations okay now we can toggle this if we don't want this we can do that on the left side you're going to see the view button click on this you're going to see the options of details and annotation right now they are active so we can see it but if we disable the annotation you're going to see the highlighted text will disappear so if we toggle this or make it inactive you can see that the highlighted text are disappeared in the bottom also okay and if you want that details also to be disappeared so these are the details you can see and we can disable it by clicking here you can see our details also disappeared now you can see the flow diagramming view without the details and without the annotations okay you can click back and details will reappear annotation will reappear and you can also toggle the error handler okay if the error handler is present right now it is not present so this is disabled so this was the features of flow designer 
in Washington DC release of ServiceNow. Hope you guys like this video. Do share the videos with others and subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.